the Earth Charter was co-authored by Mikhail Gorbachev and Maurice Strong. Maurice Strong was the commissioner in the Earth Summit of Rio de Janeiro in uh, 1992, and he and Gorbachev said, we have to clarify this new awareness, this new concept of including the environment as a main stakeholder in our relationship with each other. So the Earth Charter embodies all of these principles and it is an um, educational tool which we use widely, not only in formal but also in informal uh, education, to spread this uh, bottom-up um, approach that uh, has been mentioned so clearly in previous uh, presentations and which is the, all the more justified after the failure of governments to reach an agreement. So it uh, now seems to be the trend uh, to, to uh, uh, seems to be clearly established that unless we, the civil society, the citizens, do something, the governments are going to find it very difficult to do something from top down. We believe that some of the next wars are going to be fought over war. Um, so, GCI is actively involved in promoting the UN Water Convention on the law for uh, non-navigational users of international water courses. It was adopted in 1997 with the objective of gathering the required number of signatories for the convention to enter into force. Uh, so, GCI has been actively promoting that and we now have uh, 19 countries that have agreed. Uh, we need 16 more to go. Um, the other program that uh, uh, is, uh, GCI is very involved in is called the Right to Water and Sanitation. Uh, GCI lobbies um, to uh, have Right to Water included in the international law and implemented globally. Um, it allows for um, uh, the Right to Water to be included as a fundamental right. While we talk about policies, one of the other things that Green Cross is very actively involved in is uh, grassroots level projects. One of the projects that we have that is exemplary in, in its you know, combination of uh, government action and local action is uh, this particular project. It's called the Smart Water for Green Schools. Uh, it basically provides rainwater harvesting tanks for schools in Ghana um, and ecological toilets. And we are also present actually in many other countries where we uh, apply this uh, technique of rain harvesting like in Burkina Faso, in Bolivia, in Southeast Asia and, and other areas. So uh, the SOCMED program, I mean the, the uh, acronym SOCMED comes from social and medical, deals with the environmental consequences uh, concerning health. And of course, the uh, most uh, victimized uh, part of the population is the children. We have several programs, as I mentioned, in Chernobyl, in Ukraine, in parts of Russia and Belarus, and also, as you can see here, in Vietnam, where we have been actively promoting not only education, but medical care for uh, the victims that are left out of the mainstream schools and, and society in general, uh, particularly because of the, uh, uh, the bombing during the Vietnam War of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, where the uh, dioxins and other poisonous elements like uh, Agent Orange and so on were seeping down into the underground water and remained there, not forever I hope, but for a long, a long time. So right now, whatever water is used for irrigation from that underground water is contaminating the vegetables, the fruit grown on the surface, and that means that women who are pregnant at the time of consuming those vegetables, fruits, etc., uh, produce malformations in their babies. So these babies are then um, neglected by society because the, the budget to take care of them is huge 
and uh, in the end, the government is not able to take care of about 30,000 affected children. So this is left to the civil society to, to do some, uh, to take the necessary measures, which include uh, um, correcting the malformations with orthopedic surgeons who fly voluntarily to Vietnam, and then to apply a series of orthopedic uh, measures to, to allow these children to have a close to normal life and attending school, etc. We have been also negotiating with other uh, city mayors and this is one of the uh, projects we have here in Taipei as well with the new Taipei uh, development in order to um, help or give uh, counseling and advice presenting best practices elsewhere in the world about the prevention of natural disasters. In fact, uh, for Taipei, in co cooperation with other organizations, the World Meteorological Organization and so on, we are um, involved in, a, in the preparation of an early warning array of meteorological stations all the way from the Philippines in order to try and prevent through information and public uh, awareness uh, about the effects of uh, typhoon, cyclones and so on. Uh, just let me refer to the, the uh, Earth Dialogues, which is uh, one of our star uh, programs and uh, that we intend to hold also here in, uh, in Taipei. We actually have uh, one plan in Singapore as well. And uh, the objectives are, as you can see, averting the environmental disasters which threaten our planet fighting the plague of poverty and acting to ensure truly sustainable development. That is the uh, interaction, so to say, between the areas of uh, environmental um, care, uh, social equity, and also uh, security, environmental security. Since uh, the scarcity of natural resources provoke the, the fight to, uh, to acquire the few natural resources available, this entails a series of uh, security problems which are aggravated with the climate change migratory movements. So what we do as a non-confrontational consensus-seeking organization is try to put the stakeholders at the table, not forgetting the environment itself. I mean, the environment has to be present as one more of our stakeholders and uh, we have to read, listen and talk to the environment with its language, okay? We have to learn the language of the environment, we have to read the signals, not only of climate but of biodiversity, of uh, the, the whole um, set of, uh, of problems and threats that are now posed to the environment to try and reach a consensus reach some kind of an agreement and end up with a blueprint declaration with a commitment to undertake necessary joint actions, not only at local but at planetary level.